Magnazon has always found an excellent niche in competitive play in every generation of OU, with the exception of Gen 9 OU at the moment at least. At first glance there might seem little reason to use Magnazon in the overview steer. It is very slow and has a crippling weakness to common attacking types like ground, fighting and fire and face a lot of competition from other offensive steel and electric types like Heatran and Thunderous Tyrion. However, it has one trait that always stood out. It's near exclusive access to the ability Magnet Pool. Magnet Pool is an incredible ability that allows Magnazone to trap other steel types. Unlike other trapping abilities like Arena Trap and Shadow Tag, Magnet Pool is not banned from competitive singles as it is severely limited to what it can trap compared to the other trapping abilities. This ability has always allowed Magnazone to have a solid niche in the OU tier as it can trap and remove problematic steel types like Ferroton and Skarmory. Magnazone also has 11 resistances to back it up. If there are good steel types present in the metagame, Magnazone will most likely find a niche. This isn't as much the case in Gen 9 though, as Magnazone really struggles to reliably take out the most common steel types in the metagame, like King Gambit and Golden Cop. While Magnazone's second stage evolution, Magneton, also has access to Magnet Pool, it is never used over Magnazone for obvious reasons. It's outclassed by its final evolution. Of course, this is not the case in Generation 3, where Magnazone is used as the premier Magnet Pool user and is actually ranked OU. But that's because Magnazone did not actually exist until Gen 4. There is, however, one exception where Magnetone is actually considered better than its final stage evolution, Magnazone. Gen 4 OU. Magnetone and Magnazone are both ranked as B tier Pokemon in the metagame. But Magneton is ranked slightly higher than its evolution Magnazone. But how is this actually possible? It's not usual to see a second stage evolution being ranked higher than its final form, especially since the item Eviolite did not exist in Gen 4. So how did Magneton surpass Magnazone in Gen 4, despite Magneton actually being ranked NU itself? Magneton may appear to be outclassed by Magnazone, as Magnazone has superior bulk and is also stronger. However, Magneton has one thing going for it that Magnazone does not. It's superior speed stat. Magneton actually has a higher speed stat than Magnazone, boasting 70 base speed while Magnazone only has 60. The higher speed stat gives Magneton a specific niche over its evolution. With a Choice Scarf equipped, Magneton can outspeed many more Pokémon in the Gen 4 OU metagame compared to Magnazone. If you didn't know, Choice Scarf is a health item that boosts the holder's speed stat by 50%, with the trade-off that it's locked to the move it first uses. This higher speed stat allows Magneton to revenge kill more relevant threats and prevents it from being revenge killed while trying to sweep. Not to mention that of course it can trap steel types just like Magnazone while doing so. With a choice scarf, Magneton's high speed stat allows to outspeed common threats like Dragon Dance, Dragonite and Gyarados after a speed boost if they are using an adamant nature and it can take them out with a super effective hidden power ice or thunderbolt respectively. It can also outspeed Dragon Dance Tyranitar using a jolly nature and Starmie and threaten them with a super effective flash cannon or Thunderbolt respectively. Weevil has another Pokemon that Magneton can outspeed and one it kill with Flash Cannon, and it's still a great option to of course trap steel types like Jirachi and Skarmory. With Hidden Power Fire being used over Hidden Power Ice, it can also be used to trap and eliminate Scizor and Fortress, but this does mean that it will speed type with Gyarados, as the Hidden Power types are dependent on a Pokemon's IV stat in some generations. In the last slot, Magneton could use Explosion when at low health to deal massive damage as Explosion actually has the target's defense stat prior to Gen 5, meaning it effectively has a base power of 500. Signal Beam is also an option over Explosion to deal massive damage to Celebi and hit Grass types for more damage than Hidden Power would. 
Hidden Power Ground is an easy option to trap and KO opposing Magneton or Magnezone and Heatran. With Magneton being able to trap Steel types, it can open up teammates a lot. Examples of teammates that can greatly take advantage of this are Pokemon like Dragonite and Flygon. Magneton also has a niche in Gen 4 Ubers over its evolution Magnezone. Magneton's higher speed stat allows to outrun threats like Darkrai, Shaming Sky, and Choice Scarf Tyranitar when it's equipped with a Choice Scarf itself. In Ubers, Magneton would use Thunder as its electric step. In Ubers, many Pokemon are significantly bulkier, so Magneton needs that extra power to take them out more reliably. Rain is also a common weather condition in Ubers due to Kyogre being very common in the tier and being able to set up permanent rain for a of its ability. With rain up, Thunder becomes 100% accurate, making it deadlier and more reliable than Thunderbolt. With Hidden Power Ice, Magneton is also an effective revenge killer to Garchomp and Sword Stance Regreza. Aside from that, it can still use Hidden Power Fire to take out the aforementioned Steel types. Within Ubers, it can also take advantage of Cardinal Sun to boost the power of this move. Magneton's niche wasn't that meta-defining or used a lot, but it's a niche nonetheless. Magneton's niche even extends to both Gen 5 and Gen 6 OU, although it's not really used over Magnezone in most cases. In Gen 5 OU, Magneton could still outspeed the aforementioned Pokemon in Gen 4 OU, but it was able to outspeed Alakazam too, which was a lot more common in this metagame thanks to its getting Magic Guard. Not to mention that it could also trap and eliminate new problematic steel types like Ferriton and Excadrill. In Gen 6, Magneton's speed allows to outspeed the unbanned Donatus Tyrion, as well as the newly introduced Talonflame. It is also able to speed time Mega Gyarados after a Dragon Dance boost. That being said, aside from Gen 4, Magneton is not really used all over Magnezone. Magnezone is just stronger, and its bulk allows to have a little more flexibility. Magnezone is able to use movesets with Magnet Rise, Substitute, and Charge Beam. It even spreads status like Paralysis and Toxic. Magneton could use these two, of course, but there's no reason to use Magneton in that case. The power of Magneton really comes from its superior speed stat. Did you know that Magneton is actually considered better than Magnezone in Gen 4? What do you think about this niche of Magneton and what should I talk about next? Let me know down below in the comments. If you want to see more content like this, you can let me know by leaving a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Thank you for watching and see you next time.